welcome to this video wherein I'll talk about five surprising facts about Canada. Now these are those things which I had no clue about before I came here and I only got to know when I was actually here. So I thought why not? Why not make a video and let you guys know about these? These could be shocking and exciting at the same time for you. So now without any further ado, let's get started. So number one is the gas stations here. So gas stations are basically the petrol pumps here in Canada. You would not find a single person standing there who would help you with filling the gas. You are supposed to fill up your own gas and pay for it. Now in that case, you would wonder what, what if someone just fills up the gas, gas and runs away. But you know what? That doesn't happen here. Only because the rules are very strict here and they're like cameras all over the places. So you need to fill up your own gas no matter how harsh the winter is or how harsh the how, how warm the summers are here you still need to get outside of your comfort zone you need to still, still need to get out of your cars fill up your own gas pay for it and leave so number two is the please sorry thank you culture here in canada i know this might sound a bit weird but people here in canada love to appreciate and apologize a lot for example if you walk into a coffee shop this is how you speak can i just grab a coffee please and then if you want to use a washroom this is how you say sorry could i just use your washroom please so here all the time no matter wherever you are you would always hear people saying please sorry thank you all around you so number three is the milk storage here in canada just like in india you buy milk in plastic bags now this might not excite you but because this is not the end of the story you not just buy milk in plastic bags but you also store milk in your refrigerators uh, in a plastic bag so how it goes is you buy a plastic mug insert the plastic bag of milk inside and just snip the corners away just to pour pour, pour the milk out whenever you need it so it's exact it's unlike india wherein you like just open the plastic bags pour the milk out in a utensil heat it or warm it up and then store it this is not the case here you just have to snip the corners away place it in a plastic jug and that's about it that's how you store milk here in canada so have you heard about the looney tuney show that used to be my favorite show as a child but it also happens to be a currency in Canada. You've heard it right. Looney is a dollar one and Toonie is dollar two in Canada. It's not just that, but there's also something as quarters, nickels and dimes. These are all the names of small coins which are used as a currency in Canada. Have you ever had to change your clock while you move around to a different state in your same country? not in india right but here in canada you might have to do so if you happen to travel to different time zones so here in canada there are six time zones so you can expect to have a different time while you move around only in canada so the different time zones are newfoundland then we've got atlantic time zone eastern time zone central time zone pacific time zone and mountain time zone so there are like six different time zones in canada so you would not have the same time throughout the canada not just that twice in a year they also change the timings they take the clock a, an hour back and then again push it an hour ahead um just to just for the daylight saving if you have not heard about day, daylight saving anytime you can definitely google it and know a little more about it so i think that was all about today's video i hope you felt excited while watching this i hope you liked it if you did so please 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 consider to subscribe to my channel hit the like button and comment down below what you want to watch next till then you have a nice day bye